you ever been on a bus with no room? The bus is here. Cheers. Cheers. Don't. I'll don't. I'll don't fucking. I've never done this before and it's so fun. Ah! Don't drive. We're You're a good driver. Oh, it just rang the bell. <laughs> All right, hi guys, and welcome back to another video. We're back in Liverpool. And everything. <laughs> we are here today in Liverpool doing a full sightseeing day. Going to see all of the uh, attractions, aren't we? Yeah, so I booked this morning us onto the River Mersey cruise and an open top bus tour that takes you around, I think it's like 12 sites around Liverpool. So we're gonna check that out, aren't we? We're gonna act like typical tourists. We've been to Liverpool a few times, but we haven't done it any of these tourist attractions. So we're gonna do it like pure tourist central, aren't we? We are. It's gonna we be are. a good day, but we need to rush and get our tickets first to go get on the bus. I love how we're rushing after we've just had two pints and now we're rushing In because Weatherspoons. we've missed the first ferry <laughs> and we're going to miss the next bus. Yeah, it's like but two o'clock yeah, already. It was worth it. Yeah, it is. Anyway, let's go get our tickets and then we'll get on the rooftop bus. The open top bus tour. Let's go. I get the ferry tickets that we bought from over there and you get me an ice cream while I get them, yeah? No. <laughs> Come on. We've got five minutes till the bus leaves. I know. Quickly. I'm going to be cutting it short. All right, so we got the tickets. We bought them online through Merseyside Ferries, which was £22. You get an hour boat trip, which we're going to do after the hop-on, hop-off bus. But the hop-on, hop-off bus you can use for 24 hours. So if you're staying overnight, you can use it pretty much all day and all night as well. So we've got them. But first stop onto the hop-on, hop-off bus. And I've got an ice cream. And Gaz has an ice cream, so he's happy. <laughs> So we're waiting for the open bus tour. Abby, have you ever been on a bus with no roof? Yeah. Have you actually? Yeah. When? Just traveling in general. Oh, right. Like a normal tourist. Scrap thing. this bit then. <laughs> I've never been on an open top bus. Have you not? No. I've actually never been on. So many firsts for you the past few weeks. What else? Paddle boarding. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, well, apparently Abby's not excited. I am excited. Well, let's see. The bus is here. Okay, so we've got the three grey sisters to the right of us. And that's yeah. the youngest of yeah. those three buildings that opened in 1916. Yeah. If you look at the top row of windows on the QR buildings, you'll see all the shields of our allies here on the roof. The only country that's missing is America. Well, this area of Dublin's is New York. Florence Foster Jenkins was all filmed here. Harry Potter, Magical Beast, where to buy them all filmed there. The Crown, where they send Princess Margaret off to America, all filmed down here. This Dublin's is New York. And we're on the bus. It's very fun, isn't it? Yeah. I'm actually loving this. It's a, a bit windy and it looks like it might rain. Yeah. So we got on the bus tour at Pierhead on Liverpool waterfront, right next to the Albert Dock stop, and we discovered it's actually cheaper to book there than online. In the middle there, you've got the Liverpool Library or Central Library, the most expensive book in the Liverpool Library. Is better than Liverpool was heavily bombed, so we used to go just behind these black gates to the left. The guide was extremely engaging, giving you a mixture of fun facts about the history, culture, and just insider knowledge of the city. The whole tour takes roughly an hour, but you're also welcome to jump off at any point to explore by foot, so you could use this as your mode of transport around the city for the day. Okay, so we've just got off the open top bus tour, my first ever one, and it was bloody great, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. There was loads and loads of facts about history. There was actually, was it 10 stops? Yeah, there's 11 stops around Liverpool, and obviously they're pointing out all of the different buildings and statues and like fun facts and stuff, and it's stuff that you would have never guessed or even thought about looking into it. Yeah, it was, it was actually really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really interesting. I did actually find it quite interesting, and I thought that I'd know a lot, but I didn't at all. Anyway, we're gonna hop on the boat tour now, one thing I would suggest is probably do these spaced out, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. We're doing back to back, 
sightseeing, history, fan facts tour, aren't we? So yeah. any facts about Liverpool after this, quiz us because we're going to bloody know it. Oh, and another top tip, bring a bloody jacket if you're on the top because it was absolutely windy, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was pretty chilly, wasn't it? But it was good. But now we're about to go and do our, our cruise on the River Mersey. So yeah. we can kind of see our dope, our dope, our dope bocking, <laughs> our, our boats docking. Yeah. Um, now, so yeah, let's get on it. Be a good one. Boat's just docking now, so we're about to hop on. We're on the boat and we've got some premium seats, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Right looking out onto the water. Not setting up yet. I don't, know, don't think there's going to be a woman with a microphone on this one. No, it's crazy though because there's loads of tourists like us and there's actually people who use it as a ferry to get across the Mersey. We've actually done this before like three years ago but we never recorded it and it was really fun wasn't it? Do you remember it was dead hot? Did we do it before? Yeah, we have done it before. <laughs> So, great news, they do pints of beer and wine at the shop, so that uh, makes, always makes a boat cruise more enjoyable when you can have a drink, doesn't it, Ab? at Woodside Terminal but we can't speak when we're on here because there is a woman well like a recorded voice yeah. giving us like it's like a recorded history tour yeah which is quite good but we are also quite cold yeah it's much more industrial and not very pretty so I haven't put too much footage in there because um, you just see a river and then some stuff but the history facts are interesting so back to back history for us today yeah it's pretty exciting cheers cheers Woodside Terminal Oh, look at this. Look at that, moody. Okay, we're off the boat and now we're going to try and get some electric scooters to try and get to our dinner. We've literally not eaten anything all day. We're gonna, Smoothie we, and some crisps. We're going to arrive in style. <laughs> literally. Can't just do one person, can we? Yeah, get on the back and then we'll go and find another one. Do you reckon? A bit nervous. How do they work? You need to get the app. Okay. It's illegal to hold the phone while riding. Do we do we get this and drive to find more, or do you want to walk and find more together? I don't think I can. I actually go in the back of that though. I mean, I'm sure you can. Yeah, but hang on. Let me see if we can get in the back, and then we'll decide from that. Won't no, we? because. We're... <laughs> hang on. Let me see. No. Nah, it's, it's not a two-person. <laughs> right, let's go. We walk to find some more. Huh? I saw some more up there. Right, the plan is walk to find some more. What is your actual genuine opinion on the uh, old boat tour? Yeah, I thought it was good, man. Did but you? I think the boat tour was good. The bus was good. I think if we had done one of them, we'd think they were both great. But because we'd yeah. done back to back, it was a bit harder, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I think like, just choose one for the day. But look, which, I, do, which do you think was best though? Well, I enjoyed the bus for the bus more because we'd done it first. Oh, right, so we figured out how to get the e-scooter. You had to download an app and then verify your driver's <laughs> license. A whole load of palaver. It took us about half an hour, but we have e-scooters. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, we're ready to go on the e-scooter. It's a half an hour walk away to this place where we're going to go get food, but hopefully, hopefully it'll be a bit shorter on these. Go, do a little circle. Right, so as you can see, Abby's driving around on the e-scooter having fun. 
we are going to make our way to the restaurant on our e-scooters and I guess we'll catch up with you there if we make it in one piece. I literally can't do this one handed man. How are you finding e-scootering? Oh. Oh my god, so I've never done this before. I'm not a good driver. I don't drive. When you we are go a good no. driver. Oh, I just rang the bell. <laughs> no, when we go abroad, Gaz does the moped drive and it's not for me at all. I don't like being in charge of, you know, safety. But it's so fun. I was a bit nervous at first, but now I feel like I'm finding my feet. It's banging. Look, there's a guy with a little kid in it. Oh no, it's, it's so fun, definitely. And so it was, what, 12p a minute? Or two, what no, was it? 20p a minute. 20p a minute. So if we did it for an hour, it'd be 12 quid. So we're going to try and get to this place of food. We need some food. But anyway, it's going to be uh, such a laugh. This is such a good vibe. We should definitely do this all the time. I wish I was somewhere in Manchester. We can buy an Easter I thought we come abroad. It. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, so we've just finished on the electric scooters. I would say the one thing you need to do in Liverpool was that. That was so fun. Yeah, it was fun. Anyway, we're planning on going to a burger place, but then we drove past Baltic Market where we went last time and it was actually okay. meant to get food there. So we were like, do you know what? It's another mile to get to the burger yeah, place. Yeah, we're a mile away from the burger place. The, p the pavement had ended, so we'd need to go on the road. Yeah. On a busy road, and we saw that we're outside Baltic Market, so we decided to go there. Yeah, really good food, so we're gonna pop in there now, but it's honestly really decent, so you'll see. And but... I've needed a wee for about two hours. Yeah, my phone's dead, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what relevance that's got, but just to let you know. <laughs> Yeah. 